and we continue following developing news out of Midwood. A community reacts to that devastating fire that took the lives of seven children. News 12 reporter Shana Esterlin continues our team coverage. Shana. Vanessa, I'm actually here with the one of the neighbors that called 911. She said they saw everything. They live around the corner and the back window faces the house. I'm going to talk to her now. Her name is Karen Rosenblatt. Karen, what did you see? What did you hear? Well, first, I should say it was my husband. He was on the computer and he heard, Mommy, Mommy, help me. So I was just about to go to bed and he came into my room and I said, What's up, Andrew? He said, I just heard someone say, Mommy, Mommy, help me. So I thought there was possibly an abduction. So then he called 911. He called 911 after he went back into his computer room. And he called 911. It was approximately 1223, 1230 around that what time. Did you guys, what did you guys see? What did you guys smell? What did you guys hear? We didn't smell anything. But the smoke was very, very dense. There was fire coming out of all over the place. Uh, we heard the firemen breaking windows. Um, they were throwing furniture out of the windows. How, how are you feeling now? How is I'm fe I'm dev I'll be very honest. My husband heard it on NBC this morning, hearing seven children killed, and he was very, he was crying, welled up. He said, maybe if I would have made the phone call a minute earlier, it would have been a different outcome. And I reassured him that that's not true. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. <sighs> Vanessa, just terrible news all around. The more you hear about it, the more details that come to light. It just, it really breaks your heart. We'll be updating you with more information as we get it. For now, in Midwood, Shana Stulen, News 12. Heartbreaking indeed. Thank you so much, Shana.